Welcome to Chef Cthulhu. On this onboarding video, you will learn all you need to know to start your new adventure. So, who are we? Chef Cthulhu is an educational company that includes various products that teach kids, math, science, life skills and global competency. Our vision is to improve the health, happiness and education of children worldwide, while our mission is to excite kids and educators about discovering the world through healthy collaborative cooking classes and enriched teams. These are the team culture shared values. Be respectful, be an expert, be approachable, be a positive force, put team above self, don't treat like a job, rather a mission. Onboarding steps. As the very first step, in working with us, you need to sign the legal PDF form. Please go on and click on this link. So now, this is the contract. Please be sure to read everything carefully and patiently. And if that fits for you at the bottom of the contract, please leave your signature and your current address right here. And then you're done. Thank you very much. Okay, so now, once you sign the legal PR form, please create a folder with your own name and place the signed form in this folder. But remember, this document gives us the permission to use your work as well as ownership. If you don't want to give us ownership, then it means you could not work with us since we will not be able to use your work. You can also put a copy of your documentation that confirms your employment eligibility and the other relevant documents in the same folder. So now please click here. Okay. So this is the Google Drive legal documents. As you can see, there are the other workers folders. So now please create your own folder with your own name and put the contract form in the folder. Thank you very much. If people can't have access to adding their legal PIA form to the legal folder, they need to email to their mentor instead and ask the mentor to do it. So, this is the contact information section. Everyone who joins our Chef Cthulhu shall start with filling your contact information in the first page. It's important that you get recognized in the team and other team members know about your personal information, your area of expertise and preference for the working style, etc. More importantly, since we have a group with diverse backgrounds working in different time zones, it's more convenient and efficient to communicate during others' working hours and contact the right person quickly. As you can see here, every team member has a separate tab. Since we are a US-based company with a variety of talents focusing on different tasks, it is always necessary to keep track of what everyone is doing and their progress regarding each task assigned. So, every time you start the work, you fill in the date first and check the tasks for that day. Once the task has been done, you should send it for review and put the link to the file or folder in this sheet. It's also very important to note down how much time you spent on each task and the result you achieved at the end of the day in this result column.
Lila may not have time to check everything in time, but the records here can help her review and give feedback later. And the time you spent on different tasks give her a reference to assign the appropriate tasks that you have higher efficiency. And after the day of your work, please also remember to put the total working hours in the third column. And don't forget that you must state your working time in a Euro European Central Time, for not everyone has the same time zone. Also, sometimes, when we apply for a grant or funding, they will ask us to pay the previous interns and this will help. Always remember you are assigned to a mentor to help you out. Your mentor is here to help you. Always go to your mentor before you go to Lila. So this is the chain of outreach. First go to your mentor for help. If your mentor is not quickly available or can't help you, then go to the group. If the same thing happen, then you go to Lila and ask for her help. For professional reasons, you want your timesheet and all other Excel assignments to be organized. To do so, you must wrap and freeze portion of the text. How to freeze? This means a row or a column will move alongside the text so you know what category you are working on is. Select the row you would like to freeze by highlighting. Go to Help. Write Freeze in the Help box. And select Freeze 1 row or the column if that's what you need. Done. As you scroll down, you will notice the selector row will stay always in the same spot. Okay. So, how to wrap? This means that the text you are writing will fit into the column without overflowing onto next. Select the box you want to adjust the text in. Okay, let's do this. Go to help, write, wrap text. Select wrap text, not wrap text overflow. Done. You will notice how automatically the text adjusted to the box area without having overflow. Okay, how to suggest edits in Google Documents? Suggest change to a file. On your computer, open a document at this link. Then select the text you want to change. A button appears on the right margin and click Suggest Edits. You see your change in a new color. Anything you delete will be crossed out. To add more details, click your suggestion and type comment, then click reply. The owner of the file will get an email about your suggestion and can decide whether to keep them. This is the submission section. 
We are in the process of publishing a variety of books, from children's cookbooks to memoir. The submission sheet is where Lila assigns and keeps track of the submissions to publishers. You can find everything you need about your publisher here under the corresponding tab. So green highlights means submitted, but red highlights means denied. How to organize a submission? Every editor deserves their own folder in their corresponding category. This is the publication folder. Depending on the type of book you are submitting, there will be a folder for each category. Once in that category, you must build a subfolder with name of your publishing house agent. There, you will organize the submission requirements accordingly. For example, if a publisher requires a summary, query and author's bio, you start by labeling what you are working on in order of submission. First, summary. Second, query. And third, author's bio. How to submit an email to a publisher. Before you submit anything, you must always send it to Lila first at lila at chefcuchulu.com. The submission format to Lila is the following. Email of editorial, then the subject with new proposal, and then the name of the book. Query, with personalization section specific to each editorial. Sincerely, Laila Saborian, and don't forget to include all her social media contacts. When going back and editing, always use the suggestion mode so that it can be all reviewed and accepted. When you're assigned a lesson, the first thing you have to do is check the instructional content guideline. Here you will find all the information to guide you through starting the lesson. Then going on like the blank template. Lessons should take about two hours to complete on average.